What's up YouTube? Gabe Bauman with Outdoors and Camping. Today's video is going to be me just talking. I know you guys like to see when I put content out, you know, but ever since I moved to where I live now, um, uh, I really don't really do that much. Um, but on the upside, the 21st of October, I have an interview at Wendy's. I'm not saying which location. Um, what I really need to start doing, you know, more now since I'm doing, going to Compass Health Monday through Friday usually. Uh, this month is, last month was suicide prevention. This month is self-awareness. Um... I have stickers for the self-awareness. I have some on this phone, some on my other phone. I don't know if I told you all, I got a new phone. I like it. It's my it's a Moto G. Um, only forty bucks. Um, how I told you all that you know, I quit wearing boots a lot. But if you guys want a good pair of some work boots? good pair of work boots slash hiking boots or just comfortable boots to wear day to day every day I would recommend some Timberlands I think they have more than just just black Timberlands but as you can tell I use them for work I wear them every day they're comfortable um Really, I have nothing to complain about these. I actually got these given to me for free. And I'm 100% sure they're water waterproof. Unless I go over the unless I go over that, but I don't really do a lot. I recommend these, but this ain't a paid video. But if Timberland wants to sponsor a video or something for me, I would love that actually. Cause I love timber, I love the Timberland boots, but I also have my firewood logging boots actually over there against my other against my wall there, and they're Carolinas, and I have I have actually two pairs of Carolinas, a pair of I can't think of the name of the other pair of boots, but I have these Timberlands, another pair of boots that I'm willing to donate to anybody or give away. If someone wears a size 13, sorry guys, I have, everyone's blown this phone up over here. Um, but if anyone wears a size 13 wide, and need a good pair of like steel toe work boots. I've never worn them, I only put on my feet probably once. And have not, not like them at all. I took them off as soon as I put them on my feet. Um, I, I, I really don't know. Where else, when else, how, where else my YouTube venture is going to take me right now? Um, I'm still trying to figure out content and stuff. But, uh, Shelly, Josh, everyone that I know, my friend Hunter, and their parents, you know, if you all see this video, please leave a like, subscribe, share to where this video can get to so many people. I'm a person, you know, since I've been on probation, I got myself in trouble, uh, well, the day before my birthday, it was the 24th of my birthday, the 23rd I got arrested when I lived at, uh, the other house I lived at, um, uh, I have a good family here, I love them. I would do anything for this family I have here. Um, I have a pit bull, a blue healer. They're not technically my dogs, but I live here. I sit on my animals, but they're technically not. Um, I'm hoping next summer, you know, I can get it worked out, you know, to where I can do some good, some more fishing videos. This summer really did not work out for fishing videos for me. Because I got really sick after the 4th of July. 
to where uh, it was hard for me to go out in the heat, do anything. But yeah. Sorry, guys. Just... <clears throat> Oh, I do want to just do this while I'm doing this video, put it on silent. But, uh, I have a new girlfriend. I love her to death. I love her mom to death. I would do anything for her and her mom. Um, really, I don't know what else, you know, to do when I can, but... I still try to, I'm still going to try, once I get the okay to start splitting some firewood and stuff, I'll start making content doing that again, um, but we, I, that's how we heat this house actually, is by a wood burning stove, um, I love the smell of firewood, I love the smell of wood, I love the smell of wood a lot, it could be oak, I love the smell of oak, Oak really don't have a good smell, but when it comes to pine, that has a really good smell. Um, I have smelled some cherry. I've only smelled the cherry chips. And I've also smelled applewood chips that you smoke food with. Um, all I can say is you guys please just give me some ideas what I can do right now, not being able to do fishing and stuff. What kind of other content do you want? You want like me talking? Do you want me to uh this tell you a day about my life? Um do you want to learn about all uh other stuff? Do you want to see me build with popsicle sticks? Do you want to see me build with Pops of six and hot glue, or do you guys just like? Do you guys just want me to make a YouTube channel where I just sit there and just talk, or just tell you about my life on my main channel? Is Bowman's fishing? I don't think it's camping anymore. Or do you guys want to see some winter camping in the backyard where I live? Or just give me some ideas, cause. This YouTube adventure, I have st I started in 2021 when I first uh, was leaving Easy Living. And then I lost that channel that I originally first started. Um, I've had multiple YouTube channels, but... If I can find a way to get back into the other YouTube channel where I was just talking about how my experience was, you know, with the with the foster family I was with. Um, even knowing that I'm no longer allowed to go to their house or anymore. If Brock or Gilbert or Destiny, Kate, Everett or Farrah, if you guys see this video, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I still love you guys so much. I would do anything for you guys. But <clears throat> on that note, I don't know how everything else is going, you know. But if Brock, Gilbert, Destiny, or Cade, or whoever in that household runs across my videos, please, one of you guys reach out to me. I cannot talk to any any of your boys that are in that household. I possibly may be able to talk to Gilbert and Brock's son they adopted. I may be able to do that. I don't know. Um but if any of you guys in that household see see this video, please reach out to me. Let me know you're all are doing okay. I love you all to death still. Never knowing that I had three assaults in that household, I will take ownership for that. I just, you know, miss, you know, getting up every morning, going out to the barn, and doing what I had, and doing my farm chores. But, on top of doing farm chores, 
I was doing my firewood business last year. You all can probably see videos on that on this channel. I was also doing some fishing videos. I could not decide what I wanted to do. My YouTube channel became all over the place, to be honest. Um, now it's getting all over the place again. I'm going to try maybe every, not every uh, Thursday, but every other Thursday from now on, getting on here and just talking about my day and of my day in my life of a 22 year old man that has a lovely girlfriend soon to be fiance um i love her to death i love her mom to death but i would do anything for anybody if you reached out to me especially the ones in florida or the ones in new in California or wherever the other hurricane hit. I will try to do everything I can. I know you all have been trying to find two cycle mix or two cycle oil or two cycle pre mix fuel already. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. I will donate the two cycle mix I have and a, a gallon, a two gallon gas can full of two cycle mix steel mix for my for chainsaw i am willing to do anything i can for you guys i'm not asked i'm not going to start a gofundme to where i can help give them the money i don't want none of that i just want this video to get to all of our linemen that have done everything they can i want to give a big thank you to all the linemen for doing dealing with all that hurricane stuff and everything else and I also still want to give our linemen and that are still in Missouri a big shout out for picking up the other guys' slack when not being here. I've been in your guys' shoes before. To be honest, I still have my lineman shirt. I still have my hard hat in my vest that I had when I was a lineman. When I worked with my Uncle Jeremy, my Uncle Rodney, and the, all their friends that owned a tree company. I was on the tree company side, but they were, they were on the lineman side. Uncle Rodney, I don't know if you're still around, but if you see this video, please reach out to me with your cell phone number or a way I can reach out to you. Um, there's one other thing I was wanting to touch on today on this little episode I'm having about my day in life, my day of a life. Um... I have five years probation. I told you all about that a long time ago. But there's one, one single thing I would love to do is give everybody a shout out at Compass Health in Rolla, St. Roberts, in Washington, wherever there's Compass people that are dealing with clients like us, teaching us life skills. I'm not allowed to say names, but I would like to give a big shout out to the whole Compass team for the Wellbeing Center. Now we're originally called The Hive uh, of last Friday. We're The Hive. I want, I, I'm, I most definitely wish I could give name shout outs. I'm not allowed to because it would be HIPAA via HIPAA. But all I can say is, maybe one of these days, I can take my tripod and this phone and do an interview with our transporters, our wellness specialists, and specifically, it's going to be hard not to say that person's name, but that individual that comes to my house talks to me helps me through helps me teach teach me stuff maybe next week or the week after i'll talk to her this week or next week when i see her and see if she's willing to sit down for maybe the 30 minutes we have and let her tell you how far I have come since I moved to this house. But I know 
it would I don't know how that would work with her boss and the other people's bosses, but I would want you know I would want to give a big shout out to Restoring Hope, my whole Restoring Hope team, including the parents I live with, including the parents I had before. I want to give a big shout out to. But before this video gets too long or it quits recording, I would like to say I love you all to death. I pray for every one of you that's went through that hurricane in North Carolina, Florida. I pray for you guys almost every night. Reach out to me if you need help with something, I will try my best. I, uh, I'm on social, social security disability, but I will do what I can to help you guys so much. And other, before I end this video, I want to take a moment of silence and thank all of our linemen. And I hope everyone that sees this video, or wherever this video goes to, I will do, I will help you guys. If you guys ever need someone just to talk to, I am willing to listen. I may not be able to help, but I can help listen. If there's a certain, certain issue you're having, I may be able to help. And I also want to give a big shout out to Children's Division when I was in there and the, uh, and the other uh, thing I'm in right now for the state. I want to give a big shout out to every janitor and every school. I don't care where this video goes. As long as it gets to the people that like this type of content. But otherwise, before, I, before this video gets any longer, I would like to thank every single lineman. In the name of God, bring our linemen home safely after this storm cleanup. And I love everybody, but I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. Come on, phone.